Thank you, Dave. And now I'd like to introduce our assemblyman, Al Sturby. Thanks, Judy. Um, you know, he's pretty good because we were standing back there going, uh, did you know you were supposed to speak? And I said, no, I thought we were backdrop today. <laughs> But he covered everything, so I really don't have to say anything. Um, but what I'd like to add is uh, what a great thing it is for the town of Cicero to finally get to utilize uh, a piece of land that was underutilized, to say the least, for a long period of time and caused uh, so much grief to so many people. And uh, it's always uh, a wonder to me how things work out. Uh, we're, we're in a situation where we're in the worst economic times we face in, you know, 70 or 80 years, and all of a sudden, nice things happen. Uh, last week, we announced a, a grant for the canteen to get a permanent home. Now we've got this, so uh, things can happen when you least expect them. So I just want to congratulate uh, Loretto and the town, and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, Al. Um, now we have uh, Roberta Sprague. She is representing Joni Mahoney, the executive of the county, Onondaga County. Roberta? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Al, I did put a few words down on paper, but I'll speak. I'm awesome. you got to wing it. I'll be very brief. I'd like to thank Judy and the Loretto staff for extending an invitation to me today. Uh, to be present for this wonderful announcement. Unfortunately, County Executive Mahoney couldn't make it, but of course she sends her congratulations to the town and to Loretto. I'm hopeful that when you meet tonight, you'll have a very favorable response from the town board as they consider this golden opportunity. I've worked with Loretto as a partner for over 30 years now. May not look it, but my, myself, all the wonderful people who work for Loretto, we have been on this journey of trying to improve long-term care not only for the residents of Cicero, but for this entire county. And I'm so proud to be here today to start feeling like it is going to happen. It's going to be taken to the next level. I've partnered with them, and I have watched them grow and change to meet the needs of the community. They have really changed the forefront of bringing community-based services, such as the Long-Term Home Health Care Program, the Assisted Living Program, and the PACE Program to our county. Once again, Loretta has taken the first step to bring another dimension to long-term care. I'm very pleased that they have brought it out to this community where it sounds like you have a perfect parcel of land to put this, this greenhouse, the 13 of them, onto. The greenhouse concept will undoubtedly enrich the lives of our elders. This design truly speaks to a person-centered care where the residents will experience a more personal sense of home. I look forward to being a partner again, not only with Loretto, but hopefully with the town of Cicero, to see this to fruition. Thank you. Thank you, Roberta. Well, um, now we're uh, going to take some questions and answers. Um, open session and um, obviously some pictures, and I welcome anyone to please ask questions if you have any, and also that uh, you have an opportunity to view our concepts. Thank you. Judy, Judy, this question is for you. Can you tell me a little bit about, about the property and your concerns for the property before this project came along, your concerns for its development? Well, before um, I was had an opportunity to be involved, totally involved in the town, there was, um, uh, obviously, we have the twin, twin rinks there now, the two ice skating rinks, and the library. It was my understanding there were other, um, it had been a senior uh, living space of, of some kind to be developed along, along with some type of uh, commercial property. Uh, as far as, um, that's all I really know about it. But did, but did you have concerns that, that perhaps the property would never be put to use? Oh. No. Um, it's always there. We just took the right person to come along and find the, uh, find the area appropriate for, for the concept that they want to bring to the town. It's, it, it's like anything else. It's, it's a pot of gold waiting for somebody to find it. Anyone else? Thank you. 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 Thank
Any other questions for Judy or Tammy or any of our other uh, staffers? Tammy, can you tell them a little bit more about the greenhouse, how it's different than, you know, traditional institutionalized skilled nursing care? I think that's <coughs> She's going to kill me later. Yeah, no, but <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I can. <laughs> but I, I um, can easily tell you that the greenhouse model is radically different than skilled nursing care. If you could just visualize, uh, how many of you have been in a nursing home? Traditional nursing home? Okay, so almost everybody. If you can visualize the hallways, the uh, huge nurses' station, the uh, institutional feel, much like that of dare I say, prisons and um, mental health institutions. It's radically different than that. If you just now want to think about walking into your own home with a living room, with a kitchen, with a hearth, with small rooms, private bathrooms, even uh, some of us don't have private bathrooms, but the elders in these homes will have private rooms and private bathrooms. The design itself is radically different. What happens in the house is also uh, completely transformational. Now, the skilled nursing model is built on efficiencies for the organization. We try to uh, coordinate the day around schedules that will work for the organization. Certain, uh, you have um, prescriptive bedtimes, eating times, uh, activity times in the greenhouse model. The rhythms of the day take over. It's the life and the choice of the elder that runs the house. It is not us telling them when to wake up, them when to eat. Uh, whatever activity they want to do, they run the rhythm of the house. And you train and support the staff with 100, uh, 180 um, more hours than you would normally with a certified nurse assistant to prepare them to uh, run the home in a self-directed care way. Uh, more circular in a uh, care model in terms of the organizational uh, structure. It's a circular model supporting around the elder versus a hierarchical model, which is skilled care today. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? So I think we'll take this opportunity now to uh, our friends in the press talk to who they would like to talk to, and then I ask some of our dignitaries and some of our guests to stick around so we can do our Loretto uh, photo gallery at the end.